Okay, so in this lesson here, we're going to be using what we learned in the last lesson, the Pythagorean Theorem, to solve some problems, which is really what you want to be doing with the theorem. It's not about just plugging in a squared plus b squared equals c squared and making it work. It's using it and applying it to something. So for example, if I had a professional ice hockey rink here with a, with a, a 200 feet long length and 85 feet long uh, width there, I could find out the length of the diagonal by recognizing that I have a 90 degree angle right here and so that I have two sides, or I have two legs of the triangle, 85, 200, and a C value there. So if I took that and made it A squared plus B squared equals C squared, I could work this out and arrive at something that'd be kind of large, but I'd have 40,000 here plus 7,225 7, there for 47, 225 equals C squared. Take the square root of both sides and come up with about 217.3 is about the value of that diagonal in terms of feet. <coughs> so you can use your Pythagorean theorem to solve for unknown quantities, which is what we're gonna be doing in today's lesson, okay? So for example, if I had a square and I wanted to find the diagonal here, I know that the side, the lengths of the legs are six and six, and I have a C value there. So again, to set up the equation, first of all, I'd have six squared, plus six squared equals c squared. If you got that part down, you're doing great, okay? So then I'm gonna do 36 plus 36, and that's 72 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, and again, I'll just put that in my calculator here, 72, square root of 72 is gonna be equal to about 8.48 is the value of c, okay? Now over here, we have uh, two legs and we need a C value there. So we can do the same thing, okay? And so for this one, we're gonna go with 25 squared plus 30 squared equals C squared. So again, 25 times 25 is gonna give us 625. 30 times 30 is gonna be 900. So I have a whole 900 plus 625 which is 1,525 equals c squared. Now to find out what the distance is there, square root of both sides, and 1,525, we end up with about 39.05 for the value of c, approximate value of c, which is kind of cool. It does mean I could figure out how far away a kite is from me if I knew how high up in the sky it was, or here. Now realistically, if you're flying a kite, you're probably going to have this value here, right? You'd have that value there knowing how long your string was let out. And then if you found a point underneath it, you could determine this part here <laughs> and then probably figure that one out. It doesn't really matter. And you can see that's kind of what's going to happen here. If I need to find out how tall a tree is, let's say I knew a point there, maybe that's like a shadow and I have a distance there, I could solve for the h value here. I can do the height squared plus seven squared equals the hypotenuse 18 squared. So here I have 49, 18 squared, I don't know, so I'm gonna multiply 18 times 18 for 324. I'm gonna subtract the 49 so that h squared equals 275, and take the square root of both sides there. And so square root of 275 is gonna be equal to h is about 16.58 that would be the height of that tree based upon the measurements we have there so today's lesson really is going to be applying the pythagorean theorem to some different situations to see if you can figure out how to make that work okay that's it i'm going to pause there let you get started and then see you in a minute all right here we go we're going to use the pythagorean theorem to do this we can round it if necessary so here we go. We have the two legs and the hypothesis, hypotenuse. So we have two squared plus three squared equals c squared. Two squared is four, three squared is nine, nine plus four is 13 equals c squared. So c is gonna be equal to the square root of 13. And the square root of 13 is gonna be 3.6, about 3.6, okay? Number two, here I'm given the C value, so I'm gonna do three squared plus B squared equals six squared. So I have nine 
plus b squared equals 36. Subtract 9 from both sides so that b squared equals 27. And do the square root of both sides. The square root of 25 is 5, so it should be a little bit more than 5 if you're trying to approximate there. So for the calculator, I'm going to go ahead and just do it here. We have 5.19, so b is about 5.19. All right, how tall is a ladder going to be? Well, again, we have the C value. So we have 4 squared plus, in this case here, H squared equals 16 squared. So that's 16 plus H squared equals 16 times 16, which is 256. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. So I end up with 240 for H squared. Okay. And again, if I'm approximating here, if I think about things like 12 times 12 is 144, right? 13 times 13 is 169, 169. If I think about a 15 times 15, I'm at 225. So 15 squared is 225. 16 squared is 256. So my answer is going to be somewhere between 15 and 16. 40 is kind of in the middle there, so I'm expecting probably about 15.5 as an answer. And that's how you would approximate what that square root value is going to be if you didn't have a calculator. And so I looked there, and sure enough, the square root of both sides, h is equal to 15.49, almost right in the middle, 15.5. <laughs> Number four, we have a c value there. So 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. <laughs> 15 times 15 is 225. 17 times 17 is 289. So we're going to subtract 225 from that. And we have 8 squared equals 64. This is a nice one. Why? Because 8 times 8 is 64. So we have 8 for an answer there. Okay, number 5. Same idea. This time I don't have a C value, so I'm going to do 41 squared plus 19 squared equals C squared. No idea what that's going to be. Now the picture's kind of funny, right? That should be shorter than that one, but whatever. It's just a picture. So I have 1681 plus 19 times 19 is 361. Add those together, 1681. And we have 2042 equals C squared. Square root of both sides. 2042. And we have 45.18 is about the value of C. Number six, we have 20 squared plus the D squared is going to be equal to our hypotenuse, 60 squared. So 400 plus D squared equals 3600. Subtract 400, subtract 400. D squared equals 3,200. Whoops, ran out the paper over there. Sorry about that. Square root of both sides. Choo -choo -choo. Square root of 3,200. It's going to be about 56.5. Okay, fantastic. Next one, how tall is a table? Well, we can see that we have the C squared value there. So we have 30 squared plus the height squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 30 squared is 900 plus h squared. 40 squared is 1600. So now we subtract 900 from both sides. So h squared equals 500. Okay, square root of both sides. I know that seven um, times seven is 49, right? So that gets me a little bit closer there. I'm gonna do a square root of 500 and I end up with h equals 22.3 or about 22. All right, cool. So that becomes about what my height is gonna be. And that would be inches technically, but not a big deal. Here's my right angle here. So that's the d I'm looking for. So 75 squared plus 90 squared equals, in this case here, d squared. So 75 times 75 is 5625. 90 times 90 is 8100 add those together and we have 1000 or 13725 equals d squared 
square root of both sides. And we have 117.15 is about the distance from here to here. Alrighty, that's it for the day. Just a lot of computation, a lot of math, but something you can just become familiar with. It's great to do it with a calculator, but be able to do it without it as well. And when you do that, you'll probably have easier numbers to work with. So if you know the process, you're in good shape. That's it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.